been on our farm for approximately 18 years, and we've always wanted to do something from the farm that we would enjoy, that our kids could get involved in, and the petting farm idea was ideal for us. Okay, it's eight some amount. Eight amount. We've only been in business for five months, and the feedback has been very good. I think what made me realize that this was going to work is after the month of June, when I had done 29 school tours, daycare centers, and preschools, and then I had more phone calls that people wanted to book, and I was full. I couldn't take any more. So I think that was really the biggest encouragement for us to keep going and, and to make this work. In our first year, we thought if we had approximately 800 visitors, that we'd be very pleased with that. Well, we've surpassed that in a big way. We've had 1,330 visitors, and we still have people coming in on a daily basis. So things are going really fast, and we've been a lot busier than we thought, but it's been, it's been a good ride. On the farm, we have a lot of different things we offer. We usually start our year off in May and June, and that is reserved for the school tours, preschools, and some daycares. Um, what we offer to them is hands-on educational farm tours. Offering two languages has been a great asset to us because with our school tours for May and June, we work with mostly French immersion schools. I worked as a teacher's aide in Winnipeg and soon realized that teachers were really wanting to get out and do school outings in French. The other aspect of being unique in this type of business is we really let the children have the hands-on approach. A lot of petting farms out there, the children have to look from the other side of the fence. And for us, if you're going to be called a petting farm, let the children come in and touch and pet the animals and, and really get to know the animals and, and have that feel of different furs and different hair and stuff like that. There's the fun aspect of it, but there's also the educational aspect of it. We have programs to learn where the, the animals come from, what their use is. We also offer, once the tour is done, some crafts that pertain to the farm. When the children are about to leave with their parents, I always like to give them a little souvenir of the farm, something that they can remember us by. So I always offer them a small coloring book, and the children just love it. And it, it is also included in the price, so the parents think that's pretty special, that the children get to leave with something. When we start up a business, there's always startup costs. Those are the ones that hurt the most, so with us, we had fencing, we had uh, lots of paint, uh, we had a shelter we needed to build, we had picnic tables, animals. We had to go out and buy some animals. We didn't have all these animals on the farm. Also, we have our daily expenses, our monthly expenses. It can be overwhelming to start off with. Who's hungry? Me. The biggest surprise for us when it came to the financing was the insurance costs. With a petting farm, you need some very, very good liability insurance. If somebody gets hurt, I don't want to lose our farm. The cost is unbelievable. It's approximately $2,000 for running this business for five months. That's a big cost. You have to have a lot of visitors through your doors to be able to pay just the insurance. Of course, when you're working with live animals, if they're sick, they need to see the vet. Those are very, very expensive bills to pay also, but we want a nice clean image. We do not want sick animals around, so that's very important for us to make sure that we have the vet coming out and taking care of everybody. And my passion comes from children and animals, but first and foremost, I'm a mom. The number one love of this business is being at home with my children. Before we actually started this business, I think what made me realize that I could really do this was so much support from a lot of people, friends and family. We had over 50 volunteers come and help out in one way, shape or form. 
people have been telling me I'm good at what I do. And I lacked self-esteem at the beginning, and now I know I can do this. It works. It's good.